Yo, what's going on guys, it's Ted Carr. And I just made a video called how to quickly change a Facebook video thumbnail. And now I wanna show you how to change a YouTube thumbnail so it's custom. How to make a custom YouTube thumbnail. So I use canva.com, you log into Canva and uh, you've got all these options here. Just click create a design and then scroll down to the YouTube section. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. It's called social media and email headers. Click YouTube thumbnail. And once you're in here, it's where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab a photo. So you upload and see you upload a photo. Let's say you upload this one. It doesn't matter what you're using. Um, you can click upload your own images and you grab it from your computer somewhere. I've already uploaded this one, so it'll save some time for this tutorial. Once you have your photo, just drag it and then it's full screen there. And then you want to uh, add some text. So let's say, um, we'll call this one, how to change, how to change a thumbnail. And the more time you spend on this, the more beautiful it's gonna be. So there's the text, right? But you can't really see it, it's horrible. So you gotta go to elements here on the left and you click shapes. And then you can either click the sharp square or the rounded square, I'll go for the rounded square. And you drag this down, put that there. And then on your keyboard, you can either go command down, command up, command down, command up. It changes where it's located. Or you can just go to arrange and click forward and back to move this white thing. So there it is. That's basically how to make a thumbnail. Um, you can make this really big if you want to. Like you just highlight this and drag it, you can make it huge. Um, I like to I like to add a couple layers of these sometimes. So you just click copy and it creates another layer and you can create like a blue one. And you can put that one make it a little bit bigger. And you put it behind. So now you've got this um, effect so to speak. And make this let's say 32 just so we can teach you something. How to make a how to change the thumbnail and then and same with this. I'll make another layer. So I'll copy that and I'll make this let's say pink and I'll put it like that. Or maybe I want to put it behind. There we go. And then maybe I want to put another layer as well. So copy that. This one I'll make it blue. So put that one behind. It's not really responding. So Canva does have some glitches sometimes. It doesn't respond that well all the time. Um, but there it is. You can use your uh, keyboard arrows to move the thing around. You can go down, 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 up, up, up. But that's basic. Those are the basic premises there of how to make a thumbnail on Canva. I hope you guys learned something. And then, if, for example, you want to export this, you can either just screenshot it, like Command Shift Four, and then drag this over and then screenshot it, there's your thumbnail. You saved it, now it's in your pictures or your desktop or somewhere. Or you can click download, but the problem with clicking download is that oftentimes you'll download it as a PNG and then when you go to open it, you'll actually see that like it's not exactly how you edit it. Maybe it'll show up like that or something. Like There's some weird glitches with Canva like that. So the safest thing to do, sure you can go and hit download and see if you get the perfect version right away, but if you don't get the perfect version, just make a screenshot, Command Shift 4, and uh, you'll be good to go. Now one more tip, if your video just doesn't have enough space on the left side or something, or the right side, you can just bring your, uh, like you want to create more space over here to have more text, like bigger text size for example, like that, that's how you want your thumbnail to look, with a lot bigger text, I and mean, you don't want to have this white bar over there, so what you can do is you just can copy this picture, click copy, and then flip horizontally like that and then bring this over here so it lines up with that send it to the back and there you've got an effect like that and something else I like to do too is take my photo here and apply a filter I like to really add some contrast to it so it pops as a thumbnail maybe even up the brightness just a touch and then um, I like to add some vignette to it so it adds like this you see the corners there get darker and lighter darker and lighter so I like to add some of that 
and just boost the saturation up quite a bit. So now it looks like it pops much more.